Today in this video, I'm going to show you the Equinox EB100. Uh, this is a 50 watt speaker, um, stereo, so you've got two uh, left and right. And this one can connect through Bluetooth, optical and the line in, etc. This is a power speaker. What it means is it have an amplifier built in. It doesn't rely on the external amp. Just a quick video to show you what it looks like and what your money can buy. Link is in the description. So you've got option of oak or black. I opt for the oak. It is more like a wooden type. So in the box, you got your instruction booklet, remote control, and the uh, okay, headphone jack to the two um, RAC type of um, connection. In this little box, you have your power adapter. So it's a three pin adapter, a um, speaker wire for connecting the left to the right or the right to the left, depends on which side has the amplifier. And the power adapter is a three pin, 1.89 ampere so it doesn't need doesn't use a lot of power so this is well packaged if I tip it out so two speakers here they're not really tall but it does take up some of your desk space so this one is 25 centimeters tall so the main speaker is right here and it has all the connections at the back so you got line one and line two in, optical in as well. And then you got the left speaker out. So this is the right speaker. And power goes in here, 19 volts, got power button at the back. And you also have a kind of a uh, click switch speaker out. So this is for the speaker wire to the other side. At the side of the unit, this is where your control is. So you got your volume control, uh, treble and your bass. Okay, and also got a USB port right here as well on top. Now the left speaker will be a bit boring because it's just a box with all the driver and speakers in the front. At the back, a simple click switch for connecting your speaker wire to the back. And that's about it. Top here, you got some kind of a black tape, kind of a finishing on the side. It's kind of a veneer, um, darker color wood. Okay, behind the face cover, you have your speaker area. The main driver is this one here. Paper cone, I shouldn't, I don't want to tap it too hard. Put this back on before I destroy the actual cones. Now with any speakers, I do recommend you have a running period, just so that the glue and the paper have a chance to explain and contract. So I wouldn't blast it today, although this is a kind of a uh, um, review testing video. I will have to be a bit gentle to it. Now I was hoping the wire has like red or white, but it doesn't. Um, the only difference is the actual metal in the wire itself. So one is like a copper, one is like a nickel coated. So it's like a copper and a silver wire. So I'm going to go with copper for the red. And then the silver for the black. And then this side will be the same. Copper for the red. And silver for the black. Now because this is only like a 50 watt kind of a speaker, so I wouldn't too worry about the wire gauge and anything like that. It's not going to shatter the world, but hopefully it does give you some good, nice, nice and good sound quality. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but the LED light on the side here also change color. At the moment it's on blue, basically it means that it's on a uh, Bluetooth searching mode, you see it's flashing. And my phone is showing a Zetom Equinox. And then you just click on that. And it's paired. So now my iPhone is connected to the speakers and then now we can test it out. Now this is turned to the max and check out my phone. Now I 
can hear the beat. I do like this. I do like this. I think the beat is good. I can feel. I can feel the bass. The remote control take a triple A battery. You need two on them, and you can use it to control volume. The volume button here is not really like a analog button. This is like a digital button. So there's no end. So underneath, underneath here, you got rubber feet to stop vibration from the table. And um, I would rate this one actually eight out of ten. I mean, for the price of about seventy pound, you can get from Amazon. It's a really good speaker. Actually, when you turn it up, it's quite too loud to be um, so close to the speaker so if you have a computer table playing games or watching movie I think this is perfect even when I go to like uh, seven meters away the sound do kind of fill the room and um, I'm quite impressed with these speakers if you find my information useful don't forget to share like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time bye bye